where the Enforcement Directorate is conducting searches at the residence of Higher Education Minister Ponmuri. So we have this uh, big breaking news that's coming in from the state of Tamil Nadu where ED is conducting searches at the residence of High, Higher Education Minister Ponmuri. Our uh, correspondent uh, Purnima is joining us to tell us more about it. Purnima, over to you. Purnima, can you hear me? Well, can you repeat your question? Yeah, so ED is conducting searches at the residence of Higher Education Minister Ponmuri. Can you tell us more about it? Well, so far, uh, what we are given to understand from uh, sources uh, from the ED is that uh, searches uh, are underway at uh, the residences of Ponmuri, both uh, at the Chennai residence as well as the Virupuram uh, residence. Virupuram is in the hometown and also the office of Ponmuri. Uh, and searches began as early as 7.30 a.m. These are the prima facie details that we are getting from uh, from the ED. But in terms of, uh, you know, why the ED, ED rates, that still remains uh, uh, unclear. But this is the second minister who is now under the ED radar. It started with Sendil Balaji, who was raided. And uh, Ponmudi, the higher education minister, is the second, uh, is the second one who's, who's raided by... Uh, by the enforcement director. For more details, we'll have to wait for more clarity. But uh, the information that we are getting is that currently his uh, residents uh, at uh, Chennai and Virupuram district both are currently uh, are being raided by the ED and also the office of uh, Ponmudi. And raids began at 7.30 a.m. We'll have to wait for more information on why the raids and in what context the raids are happening. Uh, ED will have to give us more clarity. But at the moment, these are the only information that we managed to source. Punima, we've seen that uh, Ponmudi was uh, acquitted in the land grab case. So, are these searches in any, any, any way related to, the, uh, to that case? Well, in fact, there have been many accusations against some of the key leaders. In fact, uh, uh, Sendil Balaji and uh, Ponmudi, uh, Ponmudi also uh, are allegedly uh, ta targeted by the opposition parties in Tamil Nadu. And in terms of why the raise... We'll have to wait for more clarity. In uh, connection with Central Balaji's raids, there, were, there was more clarity because it was a Supreme Court's direction. But in this case, we'll have to wait for the ED to uh, to uh, understand if these are linked to the allegations of land grabbing. Uh, for that, in the next one or two hours, there will be more clarity on why the ED raids at the second uh, DNK minister's residence. When did the raids begin? The raids began at around 7.30 a.m. at the residence of Higher Education Minister Ponmudi. And uh, there are currently three places that are being raided as we see. One is his uh, Chennai residence, one is uh, the Gurupuram residence and uh, the other is the office of Ponmudi. These are the three places that we are uh, that uh, that we've confirmed. But we'll have to wait and see if there will be more uh, such places that will be uh, that will be raided. But at the moment, as we see, three uh, properties are created by uh, the enforcement directors and these are properties of higher education minister Pon Modi. Uh, in terms of why the raids are happening, uh, we'll have to wait for more clarity on that. Punima, when Sandal Balaji was taken into custody by the ED, we saw strong reaction uh, from Pon Modi who uh, termed it as a revengeful act. And now these uh, ED searches at his residence. Absolutely. In fact, the DNK time and again, I have alleged that uh, the central government is using agencies, uh, agencies to raid, uh, uh, to to raid ministers, and that they will not uh, get scared. They will, they will not, uh, they will, they will not get scared because of these raids. And they allege that these are raids that uh, that uh, the gov the central government is doing by using the central agencies, and there has been no proof against any of their ministers, and it's only. A political vendetta, and that's the term that the DNK time and again has used whenever agencies have raided its ministers. So this time, yet again, DNK uh, will uh, will uh, in fact, uh, uh, especially DNK President N K Salan, who will be participating in the opposition meeting uh, in Bank uh, in Bengaluru, will also send out a strong message now that the second minister is raided by the ED. We can expect a strong um, uh, statement from N K Salan, at, especially at the time. When the opposition parties are meeting in Bangalore, they may, in fact, uh, question the timing of this. Uh, so we'll have to wait, in, uh, wait for an official reaction from the DNK. But people we spoke to say that this is nothing but political vendetta. Do we have any reaction from the DMK uh, as of now? 
Well, DNA time and again have said that uh, they, they are prepared for uh, more raids from the central agencies, whether it's the IT or the ED. And this time also, uh, some of them we spoke to uh, have said that this is not surprising because every time uh, they, uh, every time uh, their leader, N.K. Stalin, sends out a strong message, uh, the, the central agencies raid its ministers. So uh, this time also DMK uh, will, uh, will in fact, uh, we, we have to wait for a statement from MK Stalin, the DMK president and Tamil Nadu chief minister. But spokespeople definitely uh, will come out and call uh, these raids as politically motivated ones. Uh, as you said, uh, Purnima, the timing is to be questioned as today is the second opposition meeting also. So will MK Stalin will now be attending the meet? Well, so since some uh, the Stalin, uh, Stalin's uh, team say that he will go ahead as per plan to go to Bangalore. It's a two-day meeting. MK Stalin will definitely participate. And these raids will not scare the DMK. That's the message that we are getting from the DMK. So uh, plans to travel to Bangalore to participate in the opposition meeting uh, uh, it will, will happen. And that's the confirmation that we are getting from Stalin's team, saying that these raids will not scare them. So will this be on the top agenda of the meeting to discuss how the opposition uh, is being tortured by the uh, central agencies as uh, it is always time and again claimed by the opposition parties? This could perhaps uh, uh, this could perhaps be one of the talking points in the opposition meeting because it's not just one state. Uh, but uh, remember the last time ED had raised Sendhan Balaji as well, we saw how... Uh, how a lot of other state leaders had come out in support of Sendhil uh, uh, Balaji and against ED's move to uh, enter the premises of the Secretariat and, and also question how the central agencies are misusing power. So this time, yet again, uh, now that another minister has raided opposition parties, will definitely discuss this and this will, in fact, be one of the talking points because every time any minister is raided there, we can see a lot of support coming in from other opposition parties. So this time also we could expect uh, more and more uh, uh, more and more support coming in, especially at the time when the opposition uh, parties are all set to meet in Bengaluru. This could definitely uh, dominate the agenda in today's dinner that will be hosted. Also, Purnima, can you tell us about the latest update in the Sendhil Balaji case? Well, in terms of Sendhil Balaji's, uh, in terms of Sendhil Balaji's case, uh, what we are given to understand is that the, the Madras High Court is currently hearing the habeas corpus petition that's filed by, uh, by in fact, the wife of Sendhil Balaji. The third judge uh, was, in fact, hearing the case. The third judge had also made observations against the minister saying that the ED has the right to arrest someone and a minister because, remember, the habeas corpus initially was heard by a two-bench, uh, a, a two-judge two bench, and that, in fact, was a split verdict. And therefore, the EJ had appointed a third judge who also was in favor of the ED and was against the minister. So at the moment, no relief for General Balaji. The ED uh, had obtained his custody, but because he's in hospital and getting treated, the custody has not yet begun, and uh, the 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 Madras High Court that was hearing the habeas corpus petition also uh, 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 gave a verdict in favor of the enforcement director. So, Sendil Balaji continues to remain under the ED radar, and today, uh, yet another minister from uh, uh, the ruling DMK is currently under the ED radar. So, this is the second minister we could expect strong reaction coming in, not just from the DMK but also all the opposition parties. All right, Purnima, please stay with us. So we're getting.